Leao Kuon. The last illuminated work of William Blake. Narrated by Matthew Schmitz. If morality was Christianity, Socrates was the savior. Jehovah and his two sons, Satan and Adam, as they were copied from the cherubim of Solomon's temple by three Rhodians and applied to natural fact. Or history of Ilium. Art degraded, imagination denied, war governed the nations. Evil. Good and evil are riches and poverty, a tree of misery propagating generation and death. The gods of Priam are the cherubim of Moses and Solomon, the hosts of heaven. Without unceasing practice, nothing can be done. Practice is art. If you leave off, you are lost. The Angel of the Divine Presence Angel of Jehovah Serpent Holder Hebrew art is called sin by the deist science. All that we see is vision from generated organs gone as soon as come, permanent in the imagination, considered as nothing by the natural man. What can be created can be destroyed. Adam is only the natural man, and not the soul or imagination. Good. Lilith, Satan's wife, the goddess nature, is war and misery, and heroism a miser. Spiritual war, Israel delivered from Egypt, is art delivered from nature and imitation. A poet, a painter, a musician, an architect, the man or woman who is not one of these is not a Christian. You must leave fathers and mothers and houses and lands if they stand in the way of art. The eternal body of man is the imagination. That is God himself. The divine body, Yeshua, Jesus, we are his members. It manifests itself in his works of art. In eternity, all is vision. The true Christian charity, not dependent on money, the life's blood of poor families, that is on Caesar or empire or natural religion. Money, which is the great Satan or reason, the root of good and evil, in the accusation of sin. Prayer is the study of art. Praise is the practice of art. Fasting, and all relate to art, the outward ceremony, is Antichrist. Where any view of money exists, art cannot be carried on, but war only. Read Matthew chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. 
by pretenses, the two impossibilities, chastity and abstinence, gods of the heathen. He repented that he had made Adam of the female, the Adama, and it grieved him at his heart. Art can never exist without naked beauty displayed. The gods of Greece and Egypt were mathematical diagrams. See Plato's works. Divine union, deriding and denying immediate communion with God. The spoilers say, where are his works that he did in the wilderness? Lo, what are these, whence came they? These are not the works of Egypt nor Babylon, whose gods are the powers of this world. Goddess, nature, who first spoil and then destroy imaginative art, for their glory is war and dominion. Empire against art. See Virgil's Aeneid. Book 6, verse 848. For every pleasure, money is useless. There are states in which all visionary men are accounted. Madmen such are Greece and Rome. Such is empire or tax. See Luke chapter 2. Verse 1. Jesus and his apostles and disciples were all artists. Their works were destroyed by the seven angels of the seven churches in Asia, Antichrist science. The unproductive man is not a Christian, much less the destroyer. The Old and New Testaments are the great code of art. Science is the tree of death. Art is the tree of life. God is Jesus. The whole business of man is the arts and all things common. No secrecy in art. What we call antique gems are the gems of Aaron's breastplate. Christianity is art and not money. Money is its curse. Is not every vice possible to man described in the Bible openly? All is not sin that Satan calls to all the loves and graces of eternity. Drawn and engraved by William Blake.